Diane Cowan has been tromping through the muddy ground of coastal Maine for 22 years. Her mission, count the young lobsters that reside under rocks or in small tidal pools. And the problem we've been having is that sometimes we just, we have fewer and fewer dates when we can access those lobsters. That's due to higher and higher water levels in the Gulf of Maine, a region of the Atlantic Ocean that stretches from Cape Cod to Nova Scotia. We think about cod, we think about lobster, uh, and it's true, you know, it's, it's, it's a, you know, it's a really important ecosystem. It's one that's been productive for a long, long time and where a lot of people are making their, you know, are making their living off of it. But that ecosystem is changing rapidly. Scientists say the Gulf of Maine is warming faster than 99% of the world's oceans. We're warming eight times faster than our kind of our long-term average warming. Uh, and it means that, that, you know, it's been a real shock to the ecosystem. So we've seen, you know, really big changes in the ecosystem. They've happened really, really quickly. Some species of fish and other marine life that used to live in more southern waters are moving northward. The lobster population has grown so much that prices have tumbled to their lowest level in two decades. Researchers are looking at a number of possibilities. But, you know, exactly what's caused that warming trend is still something that we're working on. But that's little comfort to Diane Cowan as she pursues her own work. 100 years from now, somebody might understand what I'm seeing a lot better than I do. The warming trend already a rallying cry for environmental activists who say it's important for the debate on global climate change. Matt Friedman, Associated Press.